there, it's Joe Doddridge, and I'm going to share some chat GPT with you and think of it from a perspective of a math teacher. So chat GPT, an, an AI um, chatting interface where it takes you know millions of pieces of information and data and, and resources that it has and synthesizes it and can um, answer your questions and converse back and forth with you. I think you're going to find this neat. So let's, let's start with uh, an easy idea. And let's ask it to uh, solve. And I'm going to put a, a let's do a, a quadratic uh, division, so polynomial division. So x squared minus 5x plus 12. And we're going to divide that by x minus 2. So here we go. We've asked ChatGPT to do this. And it's going to say that we can use polynomial division to do that. And it looks like we're getting a little bit of long division and a simplified answer of x minus 3 plus 6 over x minus 2. So it gave us a remainder there. And um, so there we go. We feel pretty good about that. Um, you know what? Uh, is there another way? Of course we know there's another way. Um, we, we know that synthetic division exists. Um, but let's, let's just ask ChatGP if it knows. And so let's see. It says, uh, yeah, oh, ooh, the quadratic formula to factor it. Um, and, oh, well, maybe not, um, let's see what's, what's going to turn out here. Okay, so it's giving us a quadratic formula factorization that's, um, oh, it's still thinking there. Um, it gave us an x minus 3 answer. Now that's really fascinating um, because we know the, x, the answer is x minus 3. Um, with the remainder. So I'm not sure that it handled this remainder idea very well. So that's kind of, that's that's fascinating. Let, let's ask it, um, what about synthetic division? And let's see if it knows that. So here we go. So what about synthetic division? Um, oh, okay. So yes, it knows synthetic division. Oh, it's going to kind of show it to us in a, a coding language there. There's some kind of a um, box where it has some computer language inside of it to display it to us and it gave us the same thing okay so uh, let's just try a, a few things so um, does that mean that x minus 3 is a factor of uh, the original problem and, and I'll, I'll retype in the original problem I'm not sure I, mean, I could probably say the original problem maybe it would know that we could experiment with that in the future um, yes, that's correct. When we perform the polynomial division, we see that the quotient is x minus 3 and the remainder of 6. So we get factors x minus 2 times x minus 3 plus 6. Okay, so they're factors with remainders. I'm um, not really sure that we would agree with that. Um, I'm going to say that. I don't agree that it is a factor. And let's, let's see what it says to that. Um, you're correct. Oh! Now that's really interesting. Are you reading this? I apologize for any confusion earlier. You are correct that x minus 3 is not a factor of x squared minus 5x plus 12. In fact, it does not factor into two linear factors with rational coefficients, which means it has no rational roots. That is, now that is really cool. I didn't expect this to happen. But uh, for whatever reason, uh, chat GPT kind of messed up this idea. Uh, let's, let's kind of review what happened here. Um, we used polynomial division to divide this, and it gave us long division first, and, and it gave us a good answer. x minus 3 plus a remainder of 6 over x minus 2. I asked another way to do it, and it gave us this weird, uh, this kind of long quadratic formula style. Um, gave us the same answer sort of, but we, we lost the remainder. So, you know, we'd have to analyze what exactly it did here. So I was like, okay, well, what about synthetic division? And so it gave us that, and it gave us the same correct answer we got the first time. And so then I asked it, right, this is what ChatGPT, like it understands you whenever you ask it a question. And so I asked it, um, so does that mean that this x minus 3 part is in fact a factor of the original quadratic and it said it said yes and I was like oh I'm not sure that I like that we because of that remainder so I I, I um, pushed back a little bit said I don't agree that it is a factor and it apologized and told me I was right 
Now, does that mean it's going to get it right next time? I don't know. So um, I guess there are a couple of takeaways from this. First of all, it's really cool that we can have this interaction. And there are a lot of applications for, for teachers and all kinds of other, you know, all kinds of other fields. But we need to be careful about the information we're getting. And we need to test it with what we know to be true and uh, not just accept it all at face value. All right. Thanks a lot. I hope that you will subscribe to my videos and, and learn more about ChatGPT as we go. Thanks.